<laughs> not, but I suppose it could benefit us both then. We could make sure the other doesn't disappear into the dark. Well, when you phrase it like that, Mr. Crane, it does make a good bit of sense. I would be happy to have your company in my walk home tonight. You know, Sleepy Hollow carries a bountiful offering of myths. Oh, well, from what I've read, Katrina, they don't, they don't sound much like myths. Oh, um, why, Mr. Crane, you seem like a rather well-read man. You know, I suppose that is a good quality of a school teacher to have. Oh, tell me, what's this book about? Really? You'd like to know? Yes, I, I would. <laughs> you seem awfully surprised. Oh, it's just, uh, but I feel rather foolish whenever I bring up this book. Nobody takes me very seriously or cares to listen. Well, I do. Well, um, Cotton Mather describes plenty of signs of the devil to look out for in New England, but this area as well, I'm sure. I mean, you grew up around here, you must agree. I'd say he's correct with the spirits, as since I've been here, I've heard the wildest of stories. I'm sure you've heard of that of Major Andre. Why, yes, yes, the men at the tavern were discussing him. I must say, I was quite taken by a story until I felt a cool breeze off my neck. It's almost as if he was there with me and... Oh, goodness, I'm sounding foolish. Oh, not at all, Mr. Crane. Not at all. Uh, well, um, do you know of his story? Not that I want to put you out or anything, but according to Cod Mathers, it's just better to know the tales than to be blind by them. As he says, it's the devil's shield against the devil's sword. Oh, it's one of my favorite tales to tell. So you see, man himself, Major Andre, was this famed British soldier in the war. He was a spy, working undercover throughout the space. When he was eventually found out by the Continental Army, they hanged him from a tree. Right here in Sleepy Hollow! Some say, some say that's the fault. All people in this town. I mean, nearly every creature or aberration, at least the most devilish of them, appear at some point by Major Andre's tree. Oh, Katrina, what a frightful story. The tree is like a like a looming figure in this town. I can see it when winter is at its deepest, when the trees are bare and the silhouette of it against the horizon often obscures the moon in my window. It does keep me quite scared on this night. Do you think it's true? Oh, it must be. I mean, the tales are too widely believed to be a farce. Did you hear that? Yes. Um, you don't suppose that anyone else is here in the churchyard with us? I can't imagine who it would be at this hour. Katrina, you don't think the spirit awaiting us in the dark, do you? Oh, Mr. Crane, get a hold of yourself. There isn't any spirit. Did you hear that? It sounded like a horse breathing right near us, but no horse in sight. Mr. Crane, let's get out of here. You were supposed to walk me home, not give me the fright of my life. So strange. I thought I saw a man in the distance, but Something about him was so odd. Ichabod, let's leave, please! My apologies, Katrina. I suppose all the talk of spirits have wild up my senses for the evening. You know, it's, it's, it's really no matter, Mr. Crane. This evening was still a pleasant one for me. Oh, well. I'm quite glad to hear that for you. Well, we have arrived. Dear me, this is all your land? Well, it's my father's, but yes. All oh, those pigs and those cows, why are you after a feast each night? You are very taken with our livestock, I can see. Oh, one of the greatest pleasures in life is a gratifying meal. <laughs> oh, falling asleep with your belly full and all the food. <laughs> Get you one of those gratifying meals. Oh, say the 
more than one is going on here. <laughs> well, I um, I best be turning in for my sister, Craig. Oh, um, what should I to meet my father? He's waiting right on the porch. Oh, I don't know. Do you think he'd like to meet me? Of course. Father, come here. Dear me, Katrina, what took you so long? My apologies, Father. I, I took a bit of extra time to get acquainted with our new choir master, Mr. Ichabod Crane. Choir master, right? Uh, yes, sir. Town school master is coming fall. Oh, you don't say. Well, yes, I suppose we needed one of those after that poof, daft imbecile tired himself out. Well, um, Mr. Crane, I thank you for accompanying my dear Katrina home tonight. I pray you get home safe so that we hollow can be young. Um, Dangerous. Uh, yes, that is what I'm starting to realize. Uh, Mr. Van Tassel, it has been a pleasure. Katrina, I hope to see you again soon. He will, Mr. Crane. He will.